Good morning, folks. We've got a number of stories to hit today, both terrestrially and in space. While we still have no sunspots, we still manage to have space weather set to intensify today. Let's start there at spaceweathernews.com as we look at the last day on our star and see the coronal hole approaching Earth-facing heliographic longitudes. The previous opening was expected to hit us with solar wind over the weekend, and while geomagnetic conditions are currently quiet, that is not expected to continue. The coronal hole stream is now arriving about half a day late. Up top in red and black, that's the energy taken by the magnetosphere, and that jump the last few hours on the right is due to the solar wind speed rise in purple, the coronal hole stream, following the density bump in orange, and thus far only at minor levels, which is why the KP remains low, but eyes on that today. Let's go to Australia, where the bushfire situation is about to hit record levels. Just outside Sydney, a raging surface plasma is about to catch a convergence wind event in about 24 hours, and it is going to spread quickly. Eyes open, and best of luck. In Europe, they are seeing a Mediterranean system readying to hit Italy and the eastern state coastlines that were just hit last week and which already took considerable flooding. Eyes open there as well. And of course, the cold and snow set to obliterate records. This is normal temp this time of year, and then this is what we've got in terms of the Arctic blast. It is here now. Finer detail on the space weather coupling to terrestrial meteorology and climate. Nice details on the electromagnetic interaction between the ionosphere and stratosphere here. This is different because it's not the instant effect of the global electric circuit connection, but rather seeks to modify the believed to be slow coupling of the top-down nature might not be so slow in some circumstances. Excellent piece up next on how electromagnetic signals are by far the best way to forecast large earthquakes. This is what we've been doing since 2015. This is what we claimed was possible with diligent study back in 2011. This is why the AGU released a textbook on this last year and why China and Italy launched the Seismo Electromagnetic Satellite. It works to predict earthquakes. By the way, I was looking through the satellite's returns and was surprised at how well it picks up the South Atlantic anomaly, the weak point in Earth's magnetosphere. Very cool. Let's take a nice and easy road into space with this shot of Hubble looking at a galaxy cluster 4 billion light years away. And they say that just one galaxy behind it at 11 billion light years away is lensed into 12 separate arcs. It is beautiful to be sure, but I've always wondered why the lenses aren't everywhere. Is there just one galaxy behind this cluster and no more, or is there more than one? The truth is that they truly don't know. It's all guesswork. So folks, we're going to dance around in scientists' imaginations for a moment in seeking to explain the spin of massive plasma nuclei, also known as black holes. They are envisioning a supermassive black hole, the accretion disk around it. Little black holes caught up in the whirling dance and then combining in Pac-Man style to form the larger spinning black holes. It's a fun idea, but they need a lesson from Stephen Crothers on black hole math. Luckily, we are going to get one at the 2020 conference. But we're moving on because we have a potential crisis in cosmology. One of the top astronomy journals in the world just let a wrench slip through its fingers while standing above the gears and wheels of the machine. So here are the basic local geometry shape possibilities of the universe. The bottom one is what most mainstream scientists prefer. Flat universe requiring dark matter, dark energy, and everything else. And this would include the geometry configurations like the Mobius Strip, which has only one side to the entire surface. But things get a bit more interesting with something like the toroidal universe, the middle option, which is just a slice of the larger geometry that most of us recognize, even if we only recognize it as a donut. But alas, what we have today is evidence of the option up top, closed, spherical universe. This would utterly crush the mainstream conceptualization of the heavens at large scale, and also gives one reason to consider what lies beyond. Nothing? Doubtful. Are we just one universe of many? perhaps all forming larger and larger structures that we'll never see from inside our bubble, perhaps even dancing in somewhat familiar mathematical patterns. For now, it is a big journal with big-time scientists making a big-time mess for cosmology. Folks, we greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind map forecasts and shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.